Hello, and welcome to the comprehension exercise, The Great Escape. Let's read this particular text uh, together and try and understand this. So Sammy was Emily's hamster. He lived in a very big cage on top of a chest of drawers in the dining room. Just look at him, said Emily's dad on Friday morning. As he was leaving for work, he's doing star jumps. I'm sure he spends all day planning how to escape. Sammy stopped jumping inside the cage and looked at them, his head leaning to one side. Emily opened the cage and gently lifted Sammy out. He was very warm and very wriggly. You wouldn't run away, would you, Sammy? She stroked him until he settled down and then gave him a slice of apple to nibble on. But although he sniffed at it, he wouldn't eat it. A few minutes later, mum popped her head round the doorway. Come on, Emily, time to clean your teeth. We're leaving in five minutes. Put Sammy back in his cage. I wish I could come to school with me. I wish he could come to school with me, sighed Emily, as she placed him carefully on his straw bread. She gave him some clean water, some fresh food, and placed the apple slice on top of his food bowl. Bye, Sammy, she said. See you later. Hope you won't be lonely while I'm at school. Sammy heard the front door close. He looked around and then realized that Emily hadn't put the food container back properly, making a tiny gap in the bars. Emily would have been very surprised to see how easily he squeezed through it. He was free. He sat up on his hind legs, nibbled at his whiskers and had a quick look around. Now for a real adventure, he said to himself. So this is The Great Escape about Sammy the Hamster, who's owned by Emily. And uh, you can read this again one more time, try and understand this, and you've got follow-up comprehension questions to answer thereof. Uh, try your best, good luck, and we'll follow this up as usual in our next class. Thank you.